Hey everyone, Kyle Lewis here from the Worship Keyboard Tutorial YouTube channel, giving you tips and tricks to help you with your worship keyboard ministry. This is the second follow-up video to an arrangement that I did of At The Cross. Now, if you haven't seen that video yet, you can click this link to watch it before delving into this lesson, which is breaking down the moving bass lines to give our music a little more bluesy gospel feel. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell so that you can be aware of future videos. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. All right, if you're ready, let's get started. Well, as I mentioned, we are going to be breaking down the moving bass lines of the arrangement. And if you want the written music that I'm playing, you can click the link below to get a free PDF. All right, let's jump in. So in the normal course of our playing, we will typically stay on the same bass note. So even if we're playing a rhythmic pattern like this, we're still staying on that same bass note. But the moving bass lines that I used in this arrangement were more of a chromatic movement that gives it a little more bluesy gospel feel. Now there are two chords that I basically use these on, and that's the one chord, which in this case is the E flat chord, and the five chord, which in this case is the B flat chord. Now in each case, the root of that bass note moves up to the third. Now I'm gonna do it in single notes so you can see it, and then I will use the octaves like I used in the actual arrangement. So this first chord, the E flat chord, goes chromatically in this bass note here, so I'm going from that root. Now I'm using this chromatic pattern starting on the F. And the other chord is the B flat chord. So I'm using this B flat note. And I'm going chromatically with this bass note here. So again, that's the B flat chromatically up to the third, which is D. Now these bass movements also serve to make an approach to the chord that we're going to. So listen how the E flat chord with that moving bass line has a nice movement to the A flat chord. So that G has a nice movement up to that A flat. I could just go from the E flat to A flat, but by using that chromatic movement, has a nice movement up to that A flat. Now the same thing occurs with that B flat chord. I'm playing for the B flat chord. And that has a nice movement back up to the E flat chord. The most common place that I use these moving bass lines is in the chorus. Now I want you to listen to the original video clip to hear that bass movement and then we'll break it down. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away it was there so let's break down some of those things that i was playing first of all let's start with the b flat chord now one thing that i haven't mentioned yet that i did in the video is i'm doing two things i'm adding the dominant seven there I'm adding that A flat. Also, I'm doing a little slide, a little grace note from the C sharp to that D. See if you can hear it in the context of the chord. It's kind of subtle, but it adds a nice little funky groove to it. And then I get to my E flat chord. So when I get to the E flat chord, I'm changing the rhythm just a little bit. So instead of the 16th pattern, like I had been playing, I'm doing kind of a tied over triplet feel. Listen to it first. So it's a boom, triplet, boom. So I'm tying that triplet, boom, triplet, boom. And then I'm on that third. Now notice here again, I'm adding that dominant seven chord. I'm adding that D flat. That's not in the key signature, but I'm adding that because it has a nice movement to my A flat chord. Now let's listen to it in the context of the song. And the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there. Okay. okay, so how do we now apply this to our own music? 
Well, I'm going to take a song that we all know, Amazing Grace, and I'm going to try to incorporate that chromatic movement from the one up to the four, and then from the five back up to the one. So there we had it. I moved from the one to the four and from the five back up to the one. And I really want to encourage you to see if you can find some other songs where this little gospel movement might work. It may not work with every song, but you may find, ah, hey, here's a song that it works great in. Well, thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful for you. And I would love to hear in the comments maybe some of the songs that you have found that you can use some of these moving bass lines to give your music a little more bluesy gospel feel. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye.